Fremantle, one of Western Australia's most historic and beautiful cities. Fremantle is recognised as the best preserved 19th century seaport in the world. Frio, as it's also known to the locals, is home to 500 strong fishing fleet and a vast number of yachts and pleasure craft. And it's also the starting point for the 2014 Subaru National Road Series, kicking off with the Tour de Perth. Stage one, 151 riders, but there's room for about 30 on this course. Potential carnage. Get through stage one with your skin on and you'll be happy. It's going to be pretty hectic. There's, uh, there's a little bit of a square up one end and then just a, a U-turn down the other. So it's going to be extremely tight. And I can't see too many people getting to the finish. There'll be a lot of people getting dropped off. Shannon Johnson from Charter Mason, he's the guy to beat. He was a Superbike champion of Australia, so 60 k's an hour through a corner. It's slow by comparison to 200, which he's used to. Tom Palmer from the Drapak team, he's one of the favourites. But the local hero from Avanti, Anthony Giacopo, he will want to win a rare occasion for him on home soil. The light's going to change the course quite a bit, being a twilight. So the actual grip of the surface is going to change a little bit. So I think uh, I've got a little few extra tricks in my back pocket from 20 years of racing motorcycles. This is where I'm starting my season. The whole NRS is kicking off, so nothing could start it better than a win. And everyone's here going to be looking for a win. And, you know, you might think it's just a crit to start off with, but there's a lot of egos out there and a lot of people want to start on the right foot. Underway, stage one, the Woodside Tour of Perth. The race got off to a pretty aggressive start, as you'd expect, with 151 riders on a course this tight. Saw a lot of aggression, particularly from the Drapak team. We then saw Travis Meyer also. He's one of the local favourites of Western Australian. Great opportunity for him to show off in front of his, his home crowd. Midpoint of the race, around about seven riders got away, and the Drapak team had actually missed that move, so they really tried to close it down. And eventually that brought things back together. One of the obstacles on the course, though, was the roundabout, which was obeyed the first few laps, then after that everybody decided a bunny hop was a better option. And that final lap was, was actually really dangerous and we saw a nasty crash just inside of the finish line. Ryan McAnally went down heavily, about 65 and 70 k's an hour. At this stage it looks as if he'll be okay long term, but he's going to be sore for a few weeks. Pat Shaw was also involved in the crash. Will Clark though, just rewards for getting his nose in front. He held on, he won the stage ahead of Shannon Johnson. And now the defence for him are the yellow jersey commences. Yeah, it was quite dramatic. Um, yeah, quite quite a hard course. You sort of had to stay at the front in the top top uh, 30 the whole time. Otherwise, I think it would have been quite hard behind. A few times I was nearly dropped, so it was just about yeah, hanging in there, really. It was a bit of a blur. There were bikes going this way, that way, and it was really dangerous, to be honest. There's a few riders that need have a good, long, hard look at themselves. Um, you know, we all want to come and ride the next stage tomorrow, not uh, go to hospital like a few of the riders are. William Clark from the Drapex Professional Racing Team, ladies and gentlemen. Will Clark is the winner of the stage, he gets a small time bonus. Shannon Johnson in second place and then Anthony Giacopo. Johnson cannot win this race overall. Will Clark and Giacopo, they're genuine contenders for the final yellow one. Will Clark, Craig Black Professional Racing, takes the first and Tomorrow we've got the first of the serious road stages. It's a pretty lumpy sort of a day, 114 kilometres. This will test the Drapak team trying to defend that yellow jersey.